Welcome back to our next in the series, which we're calling A Study in Gear, uh, where we look at different classes of gear, different categories for planning how you're going to deck out your team. And showing how to use them efficiently. If you want to follow along, we're going to put the link to our Google spreadsheet where we look at all the maximum gear and we've organized it, so it should be easy to plan how you want to use it based on uh, the effect. Yeah, you can see what type of thing you want to boost and how much it'll boost it by the other effects with it. So today we're going to look at another category that's maybe overlooked a little bit and with the same focus that we have on not neglecting the lower star gears, which yeah. are often very useful. Especially at an early level. And it's even then afterwards when you're, you've got everything maxed out, you've got all the gear that you need, you, just want, you still want it. You want as many teams pre-geared as possible, because that's where the time gets sucked up. So today we're looking at gear that will both boost Special 1 and give you a crit chance on Special 1. And the same for Special 2, correct? Yeah. So what's interesting is that there are very, very few gears that will do both. Yeah, there's only three gears, two for Special 1 and one for Special 2. One is Alien Weaponry which starts off as a one-star gear evolves to two. It gives you a 13% damage boost to special one and a 25% crit chance. Yeah. And you think, okay, so it's a one-star gear. It's, you know, cheap and stuff. That's the prevailing wisdom that you see on a lot of the boards discussing. It's not true. This is an excellent gear. There's only one other gear that will boost special one and give you crit chance. And the numbers are only marginally better. So that is uh, Lobo's. Zarnian Hook and Chain, which, considering that it's four-star gear, like it's three to four-star gear. Yeah, it went from a 13% chance to an 18% damage boost, sorry, not chance, to special one. Right, and the crit chance is 30% compared to 25% on Alien Weaponry. Yep, so, so it's a 5% it's a difference both times. So if you're looking at creating a special one specialist, somebody who uses special one a lot, because they've got a really good one, lots of damage. Or a good ability with it. Yeah, you know what? You've only got two choices. Alien Weaponry is actually a really great special one booster with the crit chance. Yeah, the 5% difference is kind of, it's almost overshadowed by the difference in cost to upgrade it. Because it's such a large difference. Yeah, this is probably the best argument against the people who say don't bother evolving anything that's less than 3 star. Yeah. So, the other piece of gear that is uh, offers a special boost with a special crit chance on the same special is Demon Blade, which is not a four star gear. It starts off life as a two star gear, evolves to three star, and it gives you both a damage boost of special two and a crit chance on special two. So this is um, same crit chance as the Cesarian Hook and Chain, but it's a three percent lower damage boost. So just to compare the the boosting percent differences, it's very comparable. Alright, so what we're going to do to illustrate the point is pick a character with a really great special one, which is Regine Killer Frost, and Killer Frost. we're giving her both the uh, Alien Weaponry and the Zarnian Hook and Chain. Her third piece of gear will be her Thermo Frost Necklace because it gives her the Energy Gen, which we're interested in because we want to show the special one as much as possible. There's yep. also a chance of disabling the enemy specials on Special 1, which... And a little bit of life drain on, too. Right. And we've... Because she's a star, Killing her teammates problems. are going to be a couple of people just to increase her energy generation. And we've geared out Raging Green Lantern like we always do as, as a blocker, so he can beat our tank, no matter With how. some maximal gear, though, so he has only a gear score of 183. And Harley Quinn to heal a little bit in case we screw up. Just in case. And she, for her energy gen. So again, to illustrate the point, we're going to have her run through an epic battle, which should be relatively easy and painless, because her special one is, it looks to be doing more damage than uh, listed on her card, and yeah. the freeze effect is amazing. Alright, so what we're doing is we're fighting against a pseudo Red Sun team, where you swapped out one Red Sun team member for Man of Steel. Because so Grundy's not that great. Yeah, and look at their gear score. So their gear score is clearly higher than ours. By a lot. Yeah, their lowest gear score is higher than our highest gear score, and as a team, they're higher. So, 
And they've got boosted by their synergistic effects. Right, for the red sun. So they've got uh, a lot of uh, basic damage boost from Superman. They've got the energy gen boost from Wonder Woman. 30% from Wonder Woman. So what we really need to do, I mean, the biggest danger, I think, is uh, if Man of Steel, Superman gets a bunch of his, his passive engages and he keeps on hitting us over and over with specials. Yeah. We don't need to worry about him for now. So yeah, one place that's really good to use the special 2 one is with Ares. Just because that. he has so much damage. Yeah, what's great is they're 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 pretty useless when they're in fr frozen mode. They can't really do much to you. Except their specials. Go ahead. Yeah. And I don't even care. But it, it's very easy to grind up, if not a whole bar, most of a bar, and make them. Oops. You know. Other than the really, really slow combos that you have to let them finish, not very useful. You might need to heal a little bit here. And the cool thing is because we've got so much energy generation, our heal is actually ready. Oh, as long as she doesn't die. There you go. Team health gain plus her ability. Yeah, and Harley Quinn is almost, she's one of the best sort of team members on, on multiplayer. You can't go wrong having a team with animated Harley Quinn. It's just a matter of whether, where else you'd want her. If you have the right gear for it, of course. So not bad. I mean, we were fighting, I think, a gold 50 E7 team. 57 seconds, though. So yeah, it's a little bit longer, but we've only got one offensive player on the whole team, right? And it yeah. would have been a little bit faster if I hadn't messed up and let her take a bit of damage, so. True. And again, she's, when you look at the gear scores, I mean, part of it is that it's always easier offensively than it is defensively. Okay, so this is going to be interesting because Nightwing's going to give us some trouble because he's got Drain. The only thing yeah. I'm just curious about is if he's got Razzle's. He does not, so we can just bring him in. And by freezing him quickly, he will just not generate enough to drain us. Yeah. And Arrow Green Arrow, we don't worry so much because his Drain only does really half, I think, half a bar. So we never have to worry so much about how much he's going to drain. Even if he drains us, it's not a big deal. We generate so fast. Yeah. Especially when they're frozen and they can barely get a hit in. Yeah. There we go. There we go. I don't care if he blocks this. My priority is just... It still does damage, but keeping him frozen is is the main goal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do they not generate any energy while they're um, It's supposed frozen? to be 50%. But it looks like they don't get anything. That's right. Because even when they're attacking you, they're still not really generating. But they still see, he's still got the energy from my special, right? You notice his energy bar went up? Yeah. Oh, he's probably in a special. There we go. I love how they're so slow that you can interrupt their combo easily even when it's a relatively fast combo. Didn't have much power to drain there. Oh, oh that's too bad. Yeah, I was hoping to... Oh, does oh, he, he have Razz of Ghouls? Yeah, he does. Oh! You're just getting comboed. I am. Well, again, my, our problem is because we're using it to, to illustrate Killer Frost, we're trying to make her the star and nobody else is doing any kind of offensive damage, right? Yeah. So we don't really have a backup and we have to protect her so it slows down our, our, our fight. I mean, on a normal team where you'd have some secondary attacker, whether it's another basic damage dealer. Yeah, just to be ready in case, but we don't even have a backup here really, it's just Killer Frost. But what you can see is how powerful her special one is because it, it crits a lot and the damage is boosted on top of what it already it already is. Yeah. Good member to have on your team. And okay, all right, she's so a good, she pairs well with a lot of people too. Alright, so this is a little bit unbalanced. I should probably shouldn't say this ahead of time so so early, but the other team has no gear on it. And they're not all uh, 50 E7, so it should be uh, a relatively smooth battle. 
Godfall Superman I think is always. You may have just jinxed us. Yeah, Godfall Superman is always a little bit interesting because of his blocking. He, as a character, the the computer seems to block with him a lot more to take advantage of his passive. Yeah, well, that is a legitimate strategy. I think that's what a lot of people would do. Skaboosh! So the freeze usually is enough for three combos. Oops. And I hate when he gets, when he still hits us even though he's frozen because he timed it right. Because it slows us down completely too. Oops. Good thing we built up a little bit extra with Shazam around. There's our third combo and now he's out. Alright. Oh, interesting. Oof. You got one hit in, he didn't get any hits in. That's pretty good. And the other reason why it's good to hold on to combo is that you can break their swipe or tap combos if you're fast enough with your special in between faster than you can with the basic. Yeah. Attack. All right. Again, and so this is, we're getting maximal battle points, so they're treating it as, as a maximal team, even though there's no gear. But we did all right with that. So, pretty yeah. pretty simple, considering we're, her, her basic damage is piddly, and most of the progress that we're making is with the her special. special only. Yeah, the next thing that I think they need to do for Injustice is find a way to account for gear. Because I think that's the biggest kind of difference that you can have in multiplayer. Well, I'll, I'll make the opposite argument, is that they... The, the, probably intentionally don't include gear so that they can encourage you to get more gear. They want you to spend money in gear and if it if removing gear means that you're just gonna have easier battles, nobody's gonna want it. Well that was fast then. Well, taking into account gear as in giving you more battle points for gear and matching you against e a more equal enemies, right? And this is how you're supposed to use your Tank. Tank. By bringing them in to take the special. And then stall. Oh, that's funny. Oh, you killed them. I love that. I love when you get a really weak character. Special. You get a weak guy to finish off a strong one. Absolutely. Skaboosh. So we're just using the special to buy a little time to bring... Oh, and we'll leave him in to take a bit more damage. There we go, take the special. Yeah, the first special definitely does appear to do more damage than... 25,000 on a crit on the first hit of two hits on her special. That's amazing, on a special one? It is. Wow. Alright. Because normally the second hit is only more powerful. Yeah. Yeah, think about this too. Her her swipe attack on basic is doing just over a thousand, I think, right? I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, to it's a low number. So it's crazy that we were able to totally rely on her special one and no basic attack damage from anybody else on yeah. the team is still really I love our our um player card. Yeah. Our detective with the monkey pipe in the background and stuff. I see other people who have cool stuff, but I just our ours is Oh, it's kind of entertaining. <laughs> it gives me a smile every time I see it. Sherlock the monkey. Alright, so do your attack, do your worst. Alright, this is going to be a bit of a challenge because Ale Batman can drop in in the middle and uh, Nightwing can... Oh, you might want to switch. Or block. Oh, too late. And skaboosh. So I think that's that's one of the potential problems out of the way, right? Batman has yep, used so his no special. Longer, he's no longer a concern. 
That might be speaking a little soon. He's no longer a pressing concern. Oh, he's going to get a special. Oh, oh right. and disabled. That's glorious, isn't it? Yeah. And this might be enough to knock him out. Yes. Boom. And the beauty of this is Nightwing's taking the effect of the ice damage. And he won't be able to drain you. Uh-oh. He might if I don't get another combo in. Still won't be able to drain you. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. No. Alright, so I'm going to leave it to run because I know that I would get health at the end of it. And that buys me a bit more time to get Killer Frost in quick. And it'll freeze Nightwing as it Ooh. comes in. And it'll kill him. There you go. Alright. There we go. So, points we're making. There's not a lot of gear that will both boost a specific special and crit chance on it. The gears that are less than maximum, less than three, four stars, are almost as effective. They're comparable. Yeah, and so and don't, cheaper. Don't neglect them. Definitely worth the trouble of evolving them. There's probably going to be at least one person on your team that you're going to want to use their specials on and focus on it. So these yep. gears are going to be useful even when you're fighting at a really high level. Definitely. All right. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.